Before you make a printed or PDF copy of your playbook, you may want to change the layout of the playbook from the default settings of one frame per page. You can do this in the Preview tab by clicking the Playbook Settings icon. Frames per page. To adjust how many frames are included on each page, use the Frames per Row and Row per Page menus. A good look that we recommend starting with is 3 frames per row and rows per page set to Auto. Play Labels. You can adjust which labels are included on the page, such as the playbook title, team name, or play name using the title and subtitle menus. Use these menus in the Page Options section for titles for the page, and the Play Label section to adjust titles for individual plays. Headers and footers. Specific label options such as page number and team logo can be included in the header or footer sections of the playbook by using the menus in the header footer section. I'm now going to apply all the changes that I made to my print settings and take a look at the difference in my playbook. You can see that we have three frames per row, rows per page is set at auto, and it's a much cleaner look. Saving a layout. If you're satisfied with your print settings and you would like to make them the default layout for all your playbooks, click the Actions menu at the top and select Save a New Print Settings. Rename your print settings and click OK. To set this print settings as your default, select the Actions, Set as Default. Warriors Printing is now my default print settings.